When fabricating the secondary trays, it manipulates very, very well. It's easily adapted. And the objective this time is to fill the mucobuckle fold to within the inner line angle of the landing area. It's a lot easier. The objective is to put lots of pressure, intimate contact with the master cast in tuggier areas of the base plate. So don't be afraid to squash it down there. As long as you're comfortable and confident with your wax block out, you should be okay. Again, if you're not comfortable working on the master cast, the master cast can be duplicated and the tray can be fabricated from the duplicate model and that's a great technique too. Another technique is to simply fabricate a definitive base plate out of the same acrylic resin that you're going to utilize for the final denture and you can do complete setups on that also and um, and you get very, very good record bases that way. And that's another way of doing it too. And it's a technique that some prosthodontists enjoy. I personally don't find it's necessary, but you can. You can fabricate a definitive base and wax to that base and then process on top of that definitive base.